below, it's Mark from Cars and Cameras, and today we're going to take a look at the DJI Osmo Pocket. This little powerhouse can shoot 4K 60p video, and I was really amazed in how small it is. But let's take a look at the camera. So this is what you get. I'm not going to go for a full unboxing because there's lots of those on YouTube, but let's go ahead and set the camera up. It looks really, really nice. Now my video is mainly going to focus on the pro modes of the camera. Now to access the pro modes, you need to hook it up to your phone. In my case, I'm going to hook it up to an iPhone. It does come with the adapters to do this. So we're going to go ahead and attach it to the lightning port on the bottom of the iPhone. And once we do that, we're going to open up the app. And then once we do that, uh, you got to make sure your Osmo is powered on. And then from there, we're going to access right here on the bottom left. You can see the video modes, and we're going to go ahead and, and uh, touch the pro mode. There we go. Okay, and then once we've done that, we're going to close that window. So you just slide it closed. Now we're going to hit the uh, frames per second and resolution. And you can see there, it's going to tell me, you know, the camera's going to heat up because I have selected super fine. And you can see you can hit fine or super fine. You also got 60p at 4K. Uh, you got 24 frames per second. We're going to go ahead and activate that. Now from here, you can go ahead and leave your iPhone attached or phone attached and record right from the unit. But what I like to do is, well, use the Osmo all by itself. So to do that, you just go ahead and disconnect it. And now all the settings are programmed into the uh, pocket. And we'll go ahead and turn it on. And um, my favorite uh, mode, you can shoot it like this if you want to. It's whatever's comfortable for you. But um, unlike, uh, well, kind of like the, with the larger gimbals, I like to use the uh, flashlight mode, and I'll show you that in a second. And, uh, but like I said, it is very compact. So here's the flashlight mode. And I think that's the most stable way to uh, hold the, uh, the pocket. Um, also, the larger gimbal is kind of the same way. Now, every time, uh, you know, you kind of move it around, and it, it kind of gets uh, easier. The tilt is off a little bit. The horizon will always be straight. If you just double click the right button, it will recenter itself. And you can see it there. I mean, this thing weighs uh, like seven ounces. It's really, really light. Okay, so now we're gonna go through the, uh, the menus. And uh, when you swipe down, uh, here you can go the quality. We already had it at super fine, but you can uh, uh, take it off the 100 megabit super fine. I don't know why you'd wanna do that. So we're gonna leave that on super fine. Um, also, you can, it's got a little menu here. You can check your battery level. Uh, you can recalibrate it. Um, you can lock the tilt. And uh, what else do you have here? Oh, this is a cool setting. By default, the camera is set to a 4x3 screen. Well, that's no good for shooting movies in 16x9. So uh, you can go ahead and turn on the 16x9 letterbox mode. I recommend leaving that on all the time. And... Uh, you also have a brightness of the screen. I believe by default, um, it's at the lowest level. Uh, you know, this thing will run for uh, quite a long period of time. I, I, I had it on for about 90 minutes, and I haven't run through the battery yet. I know it's rated somewhere around there, but, um, you know, it seems to work pretty good. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Um, also in here, um, the one on the top left, you can lock the tilt. And um, you can also, one of it, it recenters itself. You can, of course, do the selfie mode um, if you want to. Uh, and what else do we have there? Um, also, the, uh, you can set the uh, control and how uh, fast the uh, follow focus is. Uh, I mean, excuse me, the, how fast it will follow you, not the follow focus. And um, I like the lowest setting uh, because I think it, the videos come out a little bit smoother. And of course, that right button, as I spoke before, it will, uh, if you hit it two times, it will recenter uh, the gimbal. And um, that's about it there. Uh, you can't really touch the uh, video modes. If you do, uh, you will lose the pro mode. And pretty much, um, I'd want to put this in pro mode all the time. Now, when you swipe to the right, um, you can actually play back your videos, which is kind of cool. I'll show you what that's like. Um, there's no sound, but you can go ahead and play back and see. Uh, what your videos look like. Okay, so that's what the uh, video playback mode looks like. Um, you do also have the ability uh, to shoot stills with this camera. 
Um, I did sample a few stills. Uh, it does work pretty good. Um, I like it a lot. Now I have to say, this is the highest quality uh, camera of this type, uh, GoPro or Sony Action Cam, that I have ever used. And uh, the noise reduction that it applies at, you know, using it, you know, at night is really incredible. I mean, it works really well. Sure, it has its limitations, but this really is an incredible little camera. And I like this little storage case. So guys, there's a quick look at the DJI Osmo Pocket. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, be sure to hit that like button. At the end of this video, I have uh, more video samples. Thank you.